I am Mark Stewart, liberty-minded Democrat, running to get rid of traditional governance, get rid of the two parties that have been governing us badly for so long, and instill a third party and the choice that Americans don't have right now, which proliferates. This video is primarily for one prominent person and those who follow him. It is Jacob Hornberger, the erstwhile libertarian candidate from 2020 and again 2024. I met him a week ago. <clears throat> Very persuasive about goals. And my message is meant to mesh goals, long-term and principled, always, with practicality, short-term, now kicking field goals and getting eventually to the touchdown, maybe with an extra point or two afterwards. Hear me out. Jacob would like to see the purest form of liberty, which is borderline anarchy. That's not a bad word. It's come to have a bad meaning. I'm okay with it. I think that should be the goal. I'm a minarchist. The pragmatic is getting there. It's getting elected hopefully within the next two years. It might not be this year for president, but for Congress in 2026 to turn enough minds and govern ourselves responsibly, constitutionally, with liberty in mind, that should be a near-term goal. Let's say you make it to president. Your goal will get there. Get two good years, 2025 and 2026, with ratcheting back governance in a way that libertarians haven't done in 50 years, bringing us back to 1820s style governance. So I'll give four examples. Jacob, I know you're in favor of the pure principle on all of them. Give me the chance to enact your principle six to 10 years from now. Principle, open borders, pragmatic, end, government welfare and end the drug war those are the two things that animate conservatives who want to see border walls and deportations we end the two things that are gnarly in the first place and the immigration probably reduces itself the animosity certainly reduces itself principle two pay for your own education i love it vouchers for now okay families cannot all pay fifteen thousand dollars a year even for nuns in a private school so for now give them the choice funded by twelve to fifteen thousand dollars of their education prove that choice in schooling works and work the voucher amount lower and lower and lower. That's really a state policy, but at the federal presidential campaigning, you can certainly endorse this. Three, complete health freedom and complete pension freedom, okay, retirement freedom. How about not wiping out Social Security, just making it optional. Not wiping out Medicare, make it optional. Let progressives who feel the need for government to do these things still have that choice. They certainly have critical mass. 30% of Americans will probably still keep, keep their plans. But the rest of us opt out. And probably the ones who are older and owed a lot with an opt out get a payout. Okay, some actuarially determined value for all that they've paid in to get at least something now, finally, zero income tax. Goal, beautiful, we know it's doable right now, but make it palatable as realistic by opting out again. Those of us who don't want and don't use federal unconstitutional services, we withhold, we are allowed to withhold that portion of our federal income tax. For we who don't want to use much government, that's 60 to 80 percent. For we who, five years from now, after a Hornberger administration who has dropped the military presence greatly, that's 80 to 100 percent. 
zero income tax gets there with a opt-out along the way. Once you shrink that military and sell off federal lands, I do believe you're at 100%. Jacob, thanks for listening. Those who follow him, thank you for your open-mindedness here. I am Mark Stewart.